I think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me I'm sliding in the SRT but it feel like a ride. And she calling my phone, I'm blowing up, she say I'm sorry I think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me Alright, so we on the road today and got my dog Chase with me And we about to go and pick up some shit that is going to be an investment for the shop so driving about an hour away we got 30 minutes left to go and uh, we're about to go and look at this truck that y'all might see in this video but we're gonna get on the road keep going through because this shit is windy you know, we out in the middle of fucking nowhere that's where we're going out tomorrow so yeah i guess we're gonna go ahead and check this shit out and then hopefully we'll be coming back with a damn truck or suv we'll see all right quick transaction and there she is 05 Yukon. Uh, yeah, I just just dropped a bag on it, man. It's clean. It's a 4.8 liter. Uh, I mean, it's pretty nice. I can't, I cannot lie. I mean, I tried to talk dude down a little bit more, but you know, it was a good deal as it was. So we're gonna go ahead and head back. I'll get some clips of it rolling once I get up here and get out of this damn empty ass city. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on the road. to you man i've been excited about this one i've seen this on marketplace and he wanted you know i think it was four thousand for it originally and i ended up getting him down to about three thousand and uh it's got higher mileage on it but it's a clean body truck no rust california truck uh it's got a 4.8 liter it's got a rebuilt transmission with a shift kit in it so everything looks good on it honestly bro i just couldn't i couldn't pass it up it's a good deal so uh yeah, I guess we're gonna go ahead and start getting to work on this damn thing probably by the end of the month. I ain't gonna lie to you. But yeah, she looked good, man. It's a good, nice looking truck. So I'll get y'all some more uh, footage once we kind of get to a gas station or get back to the shop. And uh, I'll do more of a walk around and everything of kind of what's wrong with it. It's got little dings and dents and shit like that here and there, but ain't nothing that we can't fix. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. So let's get on the road. I'll get some little scenery pics and some rollers and shit like that, and then we'll get back and look over it. Chris, that boy go crazy. I think I see better when I got my Glock beside me. I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me. I'm sliding in the SRT, but it feel like a ride. And she calling my phone, I'm blowing up, she say I'm sorry. I think I see better when I got my Glock beside me. I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me. I'm sliding in the SRT, but it feel like a ride. And she calling my phone, I'm blowing up, she say I'm sorry. I'm riding around, I got a G-Lock. I might go bust down a G-Shot, claim he got it out the mud and daddy stepping. I know he not chopper, make a nigga beatbox run up on me in my e -cop. Keeping one up in the head, the gloss come out soon as it be hot. Rockin' baby 23s, that pistol everywhere I go. And I stay smoking design and keep that shit there on the low. Sell them six, two bullets coming, cause your bitches drop the low. These niggas grimy, yeah, I know. So I always keep a pole. Yeah, stay with me. I will cross them out, cause I won't let a nigga play with me on the highway swerving. I've been saying for a while that I was going to end up getting me another truck and I've been just skimming marketplace for the last month and a half probably and everything that I've been seeing been some bullshit uh, or it's been rusted out it's got a lifter tick or just some crazy shit and they wanting like four or five thousand six thousand for it you know and transmission not even working and shit like that so this was really a good deal this was a steal I had to drive like almost two hours to come get this motherfucker but I mean, that's pretty much what you got to do to get a deal sometimes, but yeah, man, it's got uh, 290,000 miles on it, but at the end of the day, I'm going to go through the head, probably replace springs, uh, push rods, lifters, and do cam. I've been looking at the Chapacabra cam, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, might do that. Uh, with the 4.8, it's, it's pretty easy to get more power out of these damn things and uh, not have to worry about changing certain shit because... Like I said, man, this bitch, I crunk it up and it ran and it sounded like nothing. There was, it, you can't even hear the bitch run. So I think he said that uh, he took it back and forth to work an hour there, an hour back. So a lot of the miles are highway miles. And honestly, everything underneath looks good as fuck. 
only thing that might need to be changed is valve cover gaskets but uh other than that man it ain't nothing crazy that you know will need to be touched up but yeah man uh we got about an hour and 30 minutes left so get back and then uh i'll just do a quick walk around of the truck and uh pretty much show y'all kind of what's going on with it and then uh, after that we'll be pretty much situated and then i guess i'll put a short video out just so y'all can see what what i you know got but yeah i'm gonna try to extend this footage as best as i can but pick back up as soon as we get back to the shop all right there she is clean little truck interior is pretty pretty decent as far as the back seats and everything the headliners falling down a little bit but no big deal i'm gonna change that out the driver's seat is tore but everything else is pretty smooth it's pretty clean down truck windshield crack but you know like i said this is little shit from a older truck but she cuts on and sounds like a damn sewing machine no ticking no nothing And this paint gonna be crazy whenever I can get the damn scratches out and buff it out, but ain't no issue, man. How was it? Whenever you jump, <laughs> this motherfucker go 50 over a railroad track. <laughs> so the shocks and shit definitely worked because uh, we definitely tested that out. He went 50 over train tracks, back wheels came off the ground, so suspension is good to go. Ain't got no issues with that, but yeah, man. It's hard to find one in this color, especially damn put together, so definitely gonna try to get these scratches out as best i can it's gonna take me a while but hell it'll be worth it it's slt two-wheel drive model just exactly how i wanted it but yeah man this is it you don't hear no ticking no clattering none of that shit in here so like a dream runs like a damn sewing machine but yeah man this is it so it's gonna be the new backyard built project nice little yukon so gonna get to work on this here real soon all right it's raining pretty damn bad so i got the truck pulled in here but right now what i'm gonna end up probably doing is getting inside and doing a full detail real quick while i got it uh i just want to kind of get it road ready and somewhat decent so that way uh i can start driving it probably next week and just start you know doing little shit um as i go so yeah i'm gonna take all this shit out vacuum it out i got couple things that i need to put in there washer fluid fucking just you know maintenance shit just whenever you get a new truck but yeah man ain't really too much to clean i'm gonna get the headliner situated i'm not too sure if i'm gonna do the stars in the ceiling uh i'm thinking about it since i'm already have to take the headliner out that's a lot of damn stars and that's a lot of damn time that's why i don't do them uh in the shop for anybody just because it takes too damn long and it's gonna be probably a week to put fucking as many stars as i need to fill up this tahoe or yukon but i'm gonna get the windows tinted tomorrow my cousin's coming by to throw five percent on everything i got a quote for the windshield It'll be about 250 300 to replace that so we're gonna be doing that pretty soon too and then uh after that i'll just be junkyard running trying to find me one seat i put seat covers over the front and the back's fine and then i'm gonna dye the carpet black probably because it's that ugly ass tan but yeah man it's it's been a decent truck. I mean, it, with the rain on it, it looked clean as fuck. Looked like a regular stock truck, brand new off the showroom floor. Shit crazy. But yeah, I'll go ahead and throw my tag on it. And then uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start cleaning it up, getting it detailed. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to do a little shit for this video because I know it's short with me picking it up. So I'm gonna just kind of get y'all a, a first look around it because uh, over time, y'all gonna see this shit come from this to being up there so i'm gonna let y'all know but the boys is coming back and uh we all about to start getting some trucks that are older so that way we can build them all the way my plan with this truck is pretty much build the motor first uh, i might do a spindle lift or something like that and uppers and stuff like that until i get the big lift that i plan on going with y'all not gonna know what it is but uh yeah we're gonna definitely be about as tall as big red by the time i'm done with it if not taller than big red uh, i want to do bags in the back seeing that i got cool springs that was more the reason why i got a tahoe or yukon suv over getting a truck just because the bags are a lot easier to do but yeah man a lot planned for this uh build the motor 
transmission is already good, build the rear end, and then I'll do all the lift and wheels and everything nice. Cause a lot of people, man, I see with these motherfuckers, they doing it all wrong. And I'm trying to show y'all how to do this shit the right way. I see a couple people that do it right. But uh, yeah, me and the boys, we're gonna show y'all how to do these damn round bodies, you know, all the way, 100% the right way to where it's not ragged the fuck out and Frankenstein with 20 lifts on there and shit like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it cleaning and then we're gonna get to it. All right, so I used the vacuum and the interior detailer and everything looks a lot cleaner, it's a lot more sanitized. So everything looks good in here now. It smells a lot better. Uh, don't smell like a work truck. But uh, yeah, man, the only thing that dude did with it was he was a commercial uh, diver. All he did was drive it wherever he had to go to. He's been to Louisiana with it. California is where it originally came from. Uh, and then he got down here and uh, decided to let it go. He was gonna end up keeping it, but uh, he said that uh, had too many vehicles, needed to clear up some space and uh, decided to sell it and uh, sold it for a good price. Cause like I said, man, I can't really hate on this paint at all this shit is like amazing i'm gonna have to try to find the exact paint code i'm pretty sure i know what it is it's i think it's bermuda blue or um there's another blue it's like a 214 paint code it's in the dash uh in the glove compartment but i checked it out and it looks pretty much identical because what i'm gonna end up doing is uh painting this bottom lip and shit like that i need to go find um the rear bumper piece because it looks like somebody probably hit it with a trailer or some shit but um yeah that's pretty much it so just this rear bumper piece it broke i'll find that at the junkyard um as far as the rest of the stuff everything else is good uh, it's missing one fog light but those are like 20 bucks on amazon and i'll just rewire it perfect and then uh this one's still there but i'm gonna probably take that one out doesn't have a lens anymore and the bulb is probably fucking fried but uh yeah man pretty much it that i'm gonna do for today at least um, i'm gonna end up probably coming back around here maybe sometime this weekend i'm gonna take these molding pieces off i don't i'm not really a fan of them um just because uh yeah i just like the clean look i don't like the little bumper or door guards or whatever but uh i'm gonna end up taking those off because these are kind of wavy on this side and those are perfect so might as well just make it 100 percent complete over both sides take both those off uh then that's pretty much it just debadge it uh i took the stickers and shit that were on the back off so everything else looks good to go and uh yeah that's pretty much it man so really just gonna be paint matching doing everything that's little just to make it clean um suspension wise the upper control arm has been changed lower has been changed sway bar links are new uh it's got bilstein shocks all the way around that were just changed so realistically suspension wise everything looks good uh the rotors and the brakes were changed within the you know year or two but um probably gonna end up doing those i need to do an oil change and uh just check all the fluids i just put some wash fluid in it but uh yeah man that is it just wanted to show y'all kind of in depth of what i got going on and what i plan on doing with it because like i said it's a clean slate 100 percent stock nothing done to it so it's a good start for me to you know do a build from ground up check y'all out in the next one uh hopefully we'll have some stuff brewing up here soon i should have a truck coming either tomorrow or this weekend sometime for lift kits and i got a lift kit next week so plenty of content this month i've been trying to stay more consistent and just record pretty much whatever i'm doing whether it be just a vlog or me picking up a truck me ending up working on some shit. i'm just do a lot more vlog stuff um the boys are getting back into the truck shit so trippy gonna be coming into the videos a whole lot more reggie got something brewing for y'all uh gramp we might get him back into it and have him brewing some shit but yeah a lot of the boys around this way we about to start getting right so we're gonna definitely show y'all boys kind of how to do it the right way because i'm tired of seeing clapped out round bodies and shit on 20 inches of lift that don't go together and fucking just death traps so we'll show y'all kind of how it's really supposed to be done but yeah, man.